Oh, hey everybody, another Sunday, another week of insanity. It really is. Today I am drinking the truly uh, margarita blends, mango chili. I've tried the lime, it's outstanding. And I tried the watermelon cucumber, outstanding. So I'm expecting the mango chili to be good. No glass today, right out of the can. Here we go. Oh, very good. This is a good, this is a good line. Well, listen, I want to start by getting right into something. You, you look around these days, we're seeing the Black Lives Matter flag. We're seeing the gay pride flag. We're seeing the Ukrainian flag. We're seeing flags that say, go Trump, F Biden. We're seeing all these flags. But there's not a flag in our country right now that inspires and triggers people like the American flag. I'm not sure why the American flag is triggering people. I mean, we're Americans. It, it shouldn't be triggering us. And the other day, yesterday morning, I'm riding home. This is 9.15 in the morning. There's a guy in front of me. I'm assuming it's a guy in front of me because I saw his hand. And I'll get to that. He's got a big flag rolling off the back of his uh, Cadillac Escalade. Big black Escalade. He's got the flag all coming off. And I'm at the light uh, behind him. And the car pulls up. And all of a sudden, you hear a woman's voice. F you, F you, you're a Trump supporter. And she's screaming and yelling at him just because she saw that flag. And the guy just rolled down his window or whatever. And all of a sudden, I saw this come out. I mean, really, is, is the American flag that much of a trigger for you? And if it is, you need to reassess your life, man. We are Americans. I'm proud of my flag. Those other flags flying wherever you want. But the American flag is my flag. And you know what? If you're an American citizen, hate to tell you, it's your flag too. And here we go. Cheers to the flag, man. Ukraine. Ukraine. Ukraine's getting more money. But I am curious. On uh, April next year, tax day, should I send my tax uh, money that I owe right to Ukraine? Maybe I get a 10, 20% discount. Just get it directly to the people who are eventually going to get it. The, the lunacy has to stop, man. Billions and billions of dollars in Ukraine. Um, we talk about now this $10,000 to, to give back to people to help pay their loans. Yeah, it really doesn't make a difference to me. You want to do it, you're doing it the wrong way. You, you need to stop the compound interest and reduce the interest rate. That'll be more effective, but do what you got to do. But if you're going to give billions and billions to Ukraine, pay these debts off for these kids. Come on. Let, let's keep the money here. When, when is it going to end? When is it going to end? I mean, I'm surprised... This isn't getting back to Trump because everything seems to get back to Trump. Trump, as I said, he's the greatest spy in the world. He is the living Jason Bourne. He's the real life Jason Bourne. But everything gets back to him. Now they're realizing that this COVID vaccine isn't the, the, the be all that they meant to be. So this is Trump. Trump's vaccine. Trump did this. Trump pushed it through. Trump this. Trump's not the one who mandated everybody get it. Trump's not the one firing people. Trump's not the one in the government saying if you don't have it, you can't work. I mean, the governments, they're crazy. They're crazy. And this whole thing with the new IRS agents and the new audits, they passed the bill, whatever they passed, they are exempt from all audits. What is that telling you, people? What is that telling you? It's corruption. The whole government is corrupt. I mean, both sides. I don't care which side you are. They're corrupt, lunatic clowns. And we have a big tank over our country right now because we really are a joke. It's a circus. And then I'm still looking at everything going back to Trump. It doesn't make a difference. Now, it's not like Trump had this, these documents, this top secret information on his private server and anybody could hack it. And then when the judge told him to leave it alone, he deleted it. It's not like Trump went to Ukraine and told the government that if they don't fire this guy, they're not getting their money. It wasn't like Trump gave billions of dollars to Iran in the dead of night. Trump didn't do any of this. Allegedly, depending upon what you believe, he had this information guarded by secret service agents at his private club, wherever he had it. You know, the guy's not the most careful guy in the world at all, but allegedly he declassified it. But we're never going to hear it. If Trump went to jail every time they had him, he'd be in jail already. He'd never get out. I mean, they always have him. This is just the next sentence of, we got Trump now. I mean, this is their whole focus. They're not worried about running the country. It's inconsequential. I mean, really is ridiculous. And then Joe was at it again this week. This week it was racist, Joe. Talking about paying the education back, he said that uh, the reason he needs to do this is because blacks and Hispanics don't own their own homes. 
So, you know what? What's going on at the Blacks? They don't own their own homes. They can't use computers. They can't get IDs. They're not black if they didn't vote for Biden. But you know what? He is the pride and champion of black folk. I keep voting for him. The guy is a racist. I mean, how many things does he have to say? I mean, it's just factual information. I'm not making any of this up. You can look at it. It's racist dementia Joe. I don't know, I don't know how to say it. When he's not whispering and yelling at you, he's being a racist. I don't know, man. Pelosi came out again this week in a rambling, incoherent nonsense. I don't even know what she was talking about. Um, but I, I think that we should start a fund so we could put an educational video together for youths. And she could be used as the reason they should stay away from drugs and alcohol. I mean, she's the perfect person. She's been lit for years, man. I mean, absolutely out of her mind, stoned out of her mind, drunk out of her mind. I mean, she must own uh, stock. That's my inside trading at Tito's. Um, gin, any any company you have, man. She's drinking the hard stuff. She's not drinking Trulies. Although she should. They're probably pretty good. And then we got the race card again. Target is developing a program to better serve the black community. I, I, one, I didn't know they were undeserved. Um, I can go target any time. The black folk in there all the time. Um, as white folk, as Hispanic folk, all kinds of folk are in there. I don't know anybody was being undeserved. It, it, are there targets black folk can't get in? Because apparently now, you just go on Twitter, um, there's 9 million videos of, of the black folk just killing each other, shoplifting, and a lot of the shoplifting takes place at Target. Now, this is probably 10% of the black community if that, but it really perpetuates the stereotype. Come on, man. Black folks aren't like that. And, and, and they don't need special treatment. They just need to be treated like everybody else, how we should be treating a fellow human being. It really isn't that difficult. The melatonin in your skin is not a measure of how you should be treated. I mean, I'm red, so I don't know how much melatonin I have. You know, sometimes it feels like my head's going to explode. It gets so red. It's what happens when you deal with squirrels all the time. Speaking of the squirrels, I mean, uh, the white man or the red man, whatever you want to call me, the pale man, um, I keep hearing about the white man being a colonizer. I guess that's the new term. Call it colonizer, colonizer. Well, the history of the world, everybody was a colonizer. The strong conquered the weaker and moved on. But to call me a colonizer is really a misconception. I can't even colonize my living room to watch a ball game and get the remote control from my wife and the squirrels. So I'm no colonizer. And if I am one, I'm really, really bad at it. I'm a much better drinker. Much, much better. Let's do a colonization. You just have to flip the cap over to turn, turn the handle open. I'm good. And then the CDC again this week. They come out and they said, you know, now that school's starting and everything's getting back to normal... Even if you have unnoticeable mild symptoms, stay home. Now, if I have unnoticeable mild symptoms, how the hell would I know? I, it doesn't make any sense. But I'm, I'm beginning to believe that the CDC, they did follow the science. The problem was it was political science. And if you don't think this whole thing was a political game, you have your head right up your you-know-what. Don't need to say it. You get the idea. Oh, my gosh. It, it really is. It really is crazy. Oh. God. Apparently, this whole inclusion thing, you can't even say mother effer anymore because it's not inclusive enough. I don't know what to say, but I'm going to have to come up with some new terms. Apparent that it's non-gender effer. I'm saying that's the new term. I'm not really sure. It, it is crazy. But we are going crazier in this country because there's more crazy things going on in this country this week. I read these three things this week. First one, down in Houston, who does waitress was dipping hot wings in her vagina. Hot wings in a vagina. First of all, that can't be very pleasant. Why? And it's not on the menu. What kind of dipping sauce is that? I mean, it's probably no calories. But what are you doing? I mean, can you imagine that? Can't be fun. If, she was the, if I was the woman, why would you do that? I mean, that can't be pleasant. And I wouldn't want to eat it. As I said, that's a special sauce like none of them. Then in Florida, man and woman on a honeymoon, but the man got arrested for soliciting a prostitute while his wife was sleeping in a hotel room next to his. Imagine in those wedding gifts will be going back to somebody. Can you imagine being on your honeymoon and while your wife is sleeping, you're looking for a prostitute? If you're not getting any action on your honeymoon, maybe you married the wrong woman. I'm not. Maybe you married a trans woman. I'm trying. Maybe you didn't understand until you got there. 
So once again, because that would be false advertising. I'm way against that. Oh, and now, New York. New York, today, today has banned the sale of canned whipped cream to anyone under 21 because they want to keep the nitrous oxide from being inhaled by teens. Really? You can't go in a store and buy a can of whipped cream now? You can go down a block. You can probably get a gun or some fentanyl or some coke. That's fine. Keep the nitrous oxide out of the kid's hands. You don't know what's going to go on there. I mean, seriously. Who didn't do a whip it as a kid? I did. It's gross because you put the can back on the shelf. I was much younger those days. I wouldn't do it now. I'd take the can home and do it here. Or I'd just have a whiskey or two. Probably better off. Speaking of whiskey or two and drugs, um, there's a study showing that the use of psychedelic mushrooms are helping people fight the alcoholism. Really? Psychedelic mushrooms. Can you imagine that? I am going to go some psychedelic drugs so I don't have to drink. I don't think you're getting over the alcoholism. I just think you are switching one drug, one mind-altering drug for another. I, I, I don't know because I've never done the mushrooms, but I, I, I'm saying just strange to me. Very strange. Mushrooms or alcohol, I'll stick with my whiskey, man. I don't need any of that psychedelic stuff. My life's as psychedelic as it could be. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Speaking of that 18, 20-year-old population, down uh, in the States now, I don't know what states it was, but there are a few states, they want to change the laws that you cannot buy a gun um, for a young adult from ages 18 to 20. Now, somebody explain this to me. First of all, it's a young adult. Driving age is below 18. Going to the service is 18. I'm buying alcohol is 21. Buying cigarettes is 21. Um, voting. Not only voting that they want to make it from 18 to 16 because the Children now, the youth now is much more informed and smarter, but they can't have guns. But here's the weird one. You can have kids in elementary school as young as four deciding what gender they are because they're smart enough to make that life decision, but you can't have a young adult buy a gun. I don't own a gun. I'm not against guns. I'm for the Second Amendment, but I'm not a gun advocate, if that makes sense to you. But somebody explain this to me. Going to the military... You can get a sex change or some 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 mind altering drugs, maybe the psychotics, some some puberty blockers under eighteen. But you can't buy adult, a uh, young adult can't buy a gun. Can, you, can we please stop the nonsense? It's all madness. It really is. It's complete madness. And then we have in a Michigan, Michigan. There was a big court case this week that the Democrats in Michigan wanted to keep twenty six thousand people who have been confirmed dead. On the voter rolls, 26,000 dead people on the voter rolls, and the Republicans in the Board of Elections would like to eliminate them from the voter rolls. Why would you need to keep dead people on the voter rolls to start with? Why would that be an argument? Once again, can you t please tell me there's no voter fraud? Because there's no other reason to keep dead people on the voter roll unless, you're, unless they're your voters. Dead people apparently do vote because they have to be on the roll. Those cards and those ballots have to be shipped somewhere so somebody can fill them out and mail them back in. We're not idiots. The Democratic Party is a very sneaky party. They're full of hate and cheating. And I'm not saying the GOP is this pariah of parties. They got more than enough problems on their own that they got to straighten out. I tell you, we're run by clowns. Now, here we go. I've talked about this trans woman who was in a woman's jail who got the two other women in jail, the norms, um, pregnant. She or he was so upset that they were moved to another women's jail, They were that person was misgendered. He tried or she tried cutting off her testicles with a razor blade in protest for the way he or she was treated. His testicles. She doesn't match with that. Mental illness is real. It's called body dysmorphia, and it is a condition treated by psychologists, psychiatrists, social workers. Let's not making this the norm. And I'm not saying that if this is what you want to do, you can do it. I'm not saying it, but can we stop making it normal and stop putting it up on a pedestal? I mean, her testicles don't go together. I'm sorry. I'm just, I'm just saying that way. I'm going to finish it off this week with Alec Baldwin. Alec Baldwin is mad at the Trump supporters because he's getting death threats and not getting work because of the Trump supporters. I don't know. Babsy killed somebody? Maybe that's doing it. 
Um, no advice this week. My advice to you is to please subscribe. Please watch. Please leave a comment up or down. Most please share. I need to grow this channel, man. And find somebody you love. Tell them you love them. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Enjoy what you have today because it may not be it tomorrow. I love you. The most three important words you can say to another person. See you guys next week.